For Ultimate Team Coins, check out GameGoldTrader.com. Their link is in the description below, a very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you get a discount on your coins. They also offer PSN, MSP, and other Game Gold as well. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to my very first FIFA 15 player prediction. I know a few other people have got some FIFA 15 prediction videos going on. I thought I'd share my two cents with you guys, give you the lowdown on maybe some of the like, maybe we'll do the top 10 players to start with in FIFA Ultimate Team. Maybe I'll let you guys pick some, we'll decide that after the end of this video. First of all, we're starting with the man Lionel Messi. He is the highest rated gold card in the game this year. And since he had a cracking game for Argentina today, I thought, why not start with him? He scored two goals, his fourth and third of this actual World Cup campaign. So, guys, his current card is 94 rated. You know what it looks like. You've been playing FIFA long enough. I don't have to go through that. Last season, which is what his card here would have been based mostly off, he had 50 games, 60 goals, which is sensational, and he got 16 assists. He won the Ballon d'Or, La Liga, World Player of the Year, the European Golden Shoe, the LFP Best Player, the LFP Best Forward, and a few other um, kind of minor accolades throughout the year, you know, Player of the Month Award, things like that. And this year, he's got 46 games, 41 goals, uh, he has had a few injury problems and only 14 assists. I say only 14 assists, actually. That's like a decent amount of assists for the games. He won the Copa del Rey with Barcelona. That is the only thing they won this year. He was the LFP best player and best forward. That is pretty much all he won this year. So with that in mind, guys, this is what my prediction of his card next year will look like. Kapow! The 93 center forward card. So I have downgraded his pace by one. His dribbling by one, his shooting by one, his passing I've put up by one, and his heading I've put up by one because he's actually scored a couple of headers in the in the season. This season has been pretty decent. Um, I don't personally believe EA will make him a 93 rated card simply because he is the poster boy of EA Sports. So it's likely he will stay a 94. But this is my prediction and what I think should should it should be. Um, the reason why I've downgraded his pace again, because he did have a few injury problems, he's not as sharp as he was. You know, this the, the card for next season will be based heavily on this season's statistics, and that injury, um, it would have knocked his pace a little bit. His dribbling and shooting, again, I've, I've pulled down because he didn't play as many games, not really necessary, necessarily important. He played almost as many as last season, but he scored two-thirds of the goals in almost the exact same amount of games. So, uh, you know, there could be an argument to be made that his shooting may go down to 87, but once again, this is messy we're talking about. He is still world class. He just had a bad season, so I don't think EA will change his card too drastically, if even at all. Like, you know, this is just where I think it should be. Uh, he picked up 14 assists in the 46 games. Uh, I think his passing is, is better. You know, when you play 50 games and you have 76 goal contributions like last season or 46 this this season and 55 goal contributions, it's not only the assist he gets, but his passing in general throughout the team is actually very strong. So I've bumped his passing up, bumped his heading up, like I said, kept his defending the same. And that, guys, is what I think Lionel Messi will look like next year. If you guys want to go into foothead.com, and go and make your Lionel Messi card and link them to me. Maybe, actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. Because I was going to do this for, for something else. But we're going to do this for this. So, as we move on to the next screen. These are the three players that we can take a look at next. Ibrahimovic, Ronaldo or Neymar. I want you guys to decide which one you want to see next as a player prediction. But I also want to get you guys involved in the player prediction. So, whoever it is that you think should be the next player I do. Go onto Foothead. Create the card on Foothead in the same color blue that I had on that Messi card and show me, send me the picture on Twitter, twitter.com slash the link is just down below there. Send me what you think the card that you want to see in the next video will look like and then I'll actually show some of your guys' predictions in the videos as well. I think it'll be a good way to get you guys involved in this prediction series. It'll be a good thing to see whether you guys gr agree with me a lot or disagree with me a lot because I know this is always a controversial topic or player predictions. You know, last year I predicted Hazard to get downgraded and he did get downgraded but I got so much hate for it even though I was right. Um, so I'm not always right. I obviously get a lot wrong as well. Um, they are predictions after all you can't you know I don't know what's in the mind of EAs and neither do you but it'd be good to kind of like get a, a, a wide variant of what I predict and what you guys predict and these are the three players that we'll be looking at next so go do that on Twitter guys and uh, this will be the end of the video thanks for watching I'll see you next time I'm out peace
Oh, there's a through ball of dreams. Oh, but Femi Martins, the through ball of dreams. Left foot bangs it. Oh, it's hit the bar. Rebound. Yes. Oh, I do not. I do not deserve that goal. I've literally not been out of my half until.